Hello and welcome back to Irish Chippy Channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to do a review of a keyboard, a keyboard by Logitech, the one I've been using now for the last few months because uh, I just like, I like this one because we progr I programmed all the buttons. In one moment I will show you the software. The software is called Setpoint and you need to download the software if you're going to use this to its fullest. Right? It's a unifying uh, wireless, in other words, it's, it's, it's Logitech's own one, so it's not compatible. But you can use the one dongle for, say, for a mouse and the keyboard. Both of them come with one each, but you can use the one that all you have to do is plug this one in first, turn off the, the, turn off the mouse and turn off the keyboard, and when you switch them back on, uh, then it will come up on the screen on the set point software or the unifying software that is part of the uh, set point. So uh, yes, well, uh, all the keys. To, oh, it looks. Not, uh, it feels. Love. I'm not a good typist, right? So it. Uh, any, every anything else can help me. As I said, it comes with this uh, normal little dongle. It has the the mark on the edge of the unify and Logi written on the end of it. So the 350. It, yeah, it's been around for a long time, so it's proven itself. Now, so I can I can use this for. Ask. This is for zooming in and zooming out. It's here on the left, and, and you don't have to look what you're doing. This one is for changing programs, but you can program this one, you can program this one, you can program this one, you can program all these ones here. You can program all these ones here on FN by holding down FN. At the same time, you don't have to press an extra key. You don't have to press an, alter an alternative key. But for these ones along here, all the F numbers, so you can have this one for your email. So you just hold down your thing, that'll open your email. This is opening a browser. This is taking your battery. Uh, when you press a number lock, it comes up on your screen. When you press capital lock, it comes up on your screen. So it's very, very good in that sense. Uh, I have it programmed here for, for all the office, but I will show you in a moment all the options you can have these ones for. It comes in the box with the dongle. Uh, I will turn it upside down for you and show you it, and then I will measure it then afterwards. Uh, it comes with two batteries. Uh, the batteries on this, these two AA batteries, are supposed to last for three years. And that is based on two, two million keystrokes a year. So that's uh, two trees, which is six million keystrokes on one battery. So there may be a disadvantage to, uh, to having the, uh, the rechargeable ones because they only last for a couple of months. Uh, the downside, it is not a lighted screen, but I don't like a lighted screen, but a lot of people do, but this, that's my preference. Uh, so what is the finish like on it? As I said, you turn it on after you have put this one on and then it connects up straight away and you can connect up a matching mouse as well by Logitech. Without further ado, I will give you the measurements. This is a big keyboard. It is 19 inches or 485 millimeters. At the longest point of the wave, it is 10 inches or 255. Uh, so in this lower end down here, it is eight and one eight inches and down this end It is eight and three quarter inches Along here it's nice spongy soft and it's not it's not showing anywhere for the several months So I expect it to last a long time uh, It's a kind of a piano finish along here, which is very very nice uh, just on the top one the multimedia is like, and the multimedia is here as well. That has a different finish, this shiny piano black. And this is your, uh, your, your eggshell uh, black along here, as are the keys. So the keys are not perfectly uh, shiny. That makes them more grip when you're typing. Uh, as you see, it's waved this way. I'll turn it over here like this. As you, maybe, you can't, maybe you can see it there that they're waved. It's waved this way as well as waved. It has the stand on the back of it at all. I let the stand down so that you can see it more clearly. I'll show you on the computer now the set point software and how you program all these keys here and all these ones here and here and here. So this is the screen that we are faced with when we open a uh, uh, set point and a set point. Uh, the first one I'm showing you here is the button here on the left hand side. It's 
and the default for that is application switcher so you can see it there it's application switcher and uh, we can change that to do different things whichever we like so we could have it that button to open a page a web page and we can put in the web page there like www whatever like and every time you press that button uh, it will do that uh, it will open that web page uh, so you could also use the launcher program a uh, program that's not uh, in the list you can just browse to what, uh, what program and you go through uh, your programs you can also use it to open a file uh, just any particular file you just browse to get the file and then uh, open a folder. If you're using a folder all the time, one particular folder, you would use uh, that one, you could use that button to do that. Or you can add a custom menu and add a custom menu. Now the keystroke assignment, you can make a, a combination of keys and you can put the combination of keys there so that when you press that it does all of what that does. And then you can, you have to do nothing of course, and then you can have it open uh, 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 select an other task like calculator or something like that but we're not going to do that because we have our own button for calculator anyway so uh, then we could we press the gadget buttons the gadget button is up here and uh, the gadgets you can select what the gadget button does itself also all the same as what I showed you the next button its default is uh, to open your pictures folder and the next one is to select media player whatever media player you have you can that's media player I have windows there I've both of them set on the same but you can have one set on a different one and then of course the calculator uh, the windows calculator will open on that one on default and then this last button over on the right hand side you can have it for sleep uh, you can have it for restart shutdown log off uh, lock PC or do nothing So that's the hotkey settings. Now we're going to the FN settings. Now the FN setting, this FN settings, uh, uh, you can swap them. You normally you'll hold the FN key down and then press the F1. Yes, but you can swap them so that when you press the key, uh, that, uh, you don't have to press the FN one, uh, but you have to press the FN one for it to be an F1 key. So normally you would not use that because you might get confused and if you wanted to use an F1. And for that, the first one is documents, which for us will open a word a processor and then spreadsheets for the next one for Excel. And then the next one calendar, you can check, select a different type of calendar if you have a different one. And then you can program A, B, and C to, uh, you see them here? You can program A, B, and C to the different, uh, uh, to anything you want it. Now for uh, my home, that's got, uh, the default for that is, uh, is the default for my home is uh, Explorer, but you can put that Google Chrome if you wanted to. And you can put the next one for Messenger. And then email, I have it set, my email uh, there, I have it set for Outlook, because that's my program. Uh, uh, I use for email. Uh, we have one touch. Uh, one touch button is uh, for search. Uh, so the next one we press over on the left hand side and we can check our batteries. As you see after a few months my batteries are still fine uh, and uh, it will give you a warning when the batteries become low. Here. And then the next one you can disable all because when you press when you press a uh, capital lock and that it comes up on the screen it, go, it goes off again but it comes up on the screen uh, so you can uh, disable all of those if you want to but I don't want to disable them I want to know when my cap lock is on and when it's off and then the last button is the unifying settings that's where you set up a new item like uh, maybe a mouse or something like you can pair up to six uh, wireless things like keyboard number number pads and things like that. So now we'll go over into tools and you can check for web updates and show set I'm on in notification area. Uh, you can configure when it is going to. You can ask Logitech to help improve so you give them some of your data which I am not doing. And then we press the last one which is unifying also the same opening up the unifying to set up something else. So, and then we go back. So that's basic uh, set point settings. And uh, yeah, uh, it's very simple to use. And uh, as I say, uh, you know, you can program anything, anything, especially the A, B, and C.
So that's how you program the keys. Uh, it's very, very simple. Uh, don't forget to press OK after you have done it. And uh, so uh, thank you very, very much for watching and I'll see you all again soon.